Okay, I think this video can help those of you who have an 05 uh, Frontier that gets a rattling sound at around 2200 RPMs. Sounds like it's a heat shield or maybe the uh, solenoid in the transmission trying to shift. Um, basically, it's not. It's the power control valve. I believe it's called a VIAS. And there's, um, there's a procedure you can get uh, online that Nissan uses to repair these valves. Basically, you re remove the butterfly valve, uh, you apply some uh, special epoxy in a certain area on the valve, and you put it back in. So this is a very quick um, rundown of what I did and what I ran into. First, you take out these two bolts and remove this cover, which I've already done. Then you take out the two bolts that would be here and here, undo this clamp and this clamp, Pull this apart, you can leave the hose on, it's in the back, just swing it out of your way, and then you're left staring at this bracket, which there's two bolts that have already taken out. Uh, you can't get this bracket loose, as you can see, because it's it's got this hose, this uh, wiring harness in the way. So I took a screwdriver and pried this thing open and pushed this down and got this out. So that, and then I took the vacuum line loose right here and was able to swing this whole mechanism out of the way, this whole bracket and vacuum tube out of the way. So now here you are staring at the culprit, which is this um, this valve right here. And it, the instructions say you take out the four bolts. Well, these are uh, Torx bolts and there's one, two, three, and another one. Oh, back, I don't think you can see it, but back underneath here um, where my finger's at. But you can't get to that back valve without taking these two front valves out, or I'm sorry, the bolts out. Now, when you take these two bolts out, you think that this assembly might come loose, but it's still connected. So you're only taking those two out so that you can pivot this over to get to that last bolt. What I did is I removed that bolt, removed this bolt. These are the only two holding the valve in place. Then, then um, what I've done is put these two bolts back in so that I could pull this whole assembly out. Um, it does, and it's got an O-ring around it, so it does pull out kind of hard. Uh, I ended up prying on one side with a screwdriver, then the other side, and uh, got that valve out. And then once you pull that loose, it's going to get hung up and you're going to wonder why and it's because the butterfly valve is perpendicular at that point. Um, I took a screwdriver and pushed the valve down and then was able to remove it. Um, upon reassembly I found out that if you take this hose off here and uh, if you suck on that hose uh, you can actually get the valve to close when you're reassembling which makes it much easier. <laughs> Unfortunately, I've already um, put it back together, uh, but I just want to tell you some of the problems I ran into uh, when I did it that maybe you could head you head off for you. Uh, basically, the butterfly uh, stays closed. Uh, getting to that bolt, you know, you really have to reposition this vacuum assembly out of the way so you can get to that back bolt. And then you want to you want to put these back in because you don't want to pull on this part, um, or else you'll you'll destroy the valve. So once those are back in, you can pull the whole valve assembly out. And the reverse uh, is true. Now there's like I said there's pictures on the internet where you can actually um, see where to put the epoxy and what type of, of epoxy to use, but. I did find out, as I said, when upon reassembly, that butterfly valve is a real pain in the butt. And you've got wet epoxy and you're nervous because you're trying to get it in the groove. And um, you won't have a problem if you uh, take this hose, leave it connected to the valve, but suck on this end until that valve closes all the way uh, where it's horizontal. Then you can push the whole assembly back in, get it in the groove correctly without the valve pushing it off. I hope that helps you. Um, thanks. Bye.